everyone, it's me Shelby. Today I want to talk to you all about vaginal health. I know in the past I've talked a little bit about vaginal health and given a few tips and tricks on how to keep your pussy purring, but this video I want to go a little bit more into depth and give a few more tips and tricks. Uh, I know I've talked about diet. It's really important to drink enough water, to get enough fruits and veggies, maybe some nuts but also important to stay away from lots of dairy and meat. Animals have their own hormones, and when we put that in our body, sometimes their hormones and our hormones have a little battle, causes a little chaos in our body, and it's not so good for her down there, um, or us. Also, artificial sweets, not so good for us. If you want something sweet, maybe you try some fruit. It'll make her taste so much better than a lollipop or ice cream, I promise. Um, I also recommend introducing a probiotic into your diet. It's good for your gut, also good for your, also good for your pussy. I think it's important that we pay attention to what's in our menstrual products, and our pads, our tampons, our panty liners. Some companies aren't watching out for your girl so much. And these are things that we're putting in, on, around our vagina. And it's important that the products are healthy, you know? We're not using harmful chemicals in the bleaching process or whatnot. There are companies out there that are made by women, for women. They're on shelves at your local stores. Um, they also make vaginal washes. This is another thing I think all women should have and another thing women should pay attention to what's in the ingredients. I prefer an all-natural one. If you wouldn't put it on your face, why would you put it on your vagina? Um, this is not a douche. It is a nice, gentle soap used to clean the vulva. The vagina cleans itself. Don't worry about that. If you're a healthy woman, you're good. The outside, the vulva, on the other hand, may need a little help. That's where you get your all-natural feminine wash. I recommend that all women be a little bit more exclusive with their partners. Our partners have a big effect on our bodies. Not just our bodies physically, but emotionally, spiritually. You know, they can cause a imbalance in our pH down there. If they're not taking care of themselves, it's not so good for you either. If the vibes aren't right, the vibes aren't right. They're gonna throw off your vibes. Don't throw off my groove, yo. Like, no McDonald's dick, it's 2018. We're taking care of ourselves. We're being selective with our partners. Um, also, we're using protection, and we're paying attention to what those protection is made out of. Hopefully it's organic, hopefully it's vagina-friendly materials, um, all natural stuff. And I hope I don't have to say this, but I hope you all are being smart with your kink. You know, I hear stories about girls getting Skittles lost in their vagina or putting whipped cream or chocolate sauce in their vagina. It's like, I know it sounds good, but that stuff doesn't really belong in our vagina. It doesn't really even belong in our bodies. But if you're going to be having it, please just don't have it in your vagina. That's just not smart. Let's be smart with our kink. Also, to keep your pussy happy, Let's leave those tight pants and those tight panties behind. 2017, I would rather go commando than wear super tight panties. No way, Jose. That stuff is not good for her. She's all like choked up. She can't breathe. Like I understand there are times when you need to wear a thong. Fine. But if you don't have to, don't. And if we can get away with it, maybe some boy cut panties or some granny panties on your period. Like... Just let her be, let her breathe when you sleep or whatever. Another thing to keep her happy is Kegels. I recommend every woman have a Yanni egg. Um, little egg, little, um, this one is made out of rose quartz gemstone for love. But they come in a few different sizes and they are weighted. So they help you learn how to feel your... PC muscle, your Kegel muscle, and they help you learn how to control her by learning how to use her, um, trying to keep her in. I think it's important that we use our, or do Kegels. It's important we use our PC muscle, keep it strong, keep it tight, keep blood and circulation flowing down there, keep our vagina young. 
it's good for you, it's good for sex, it's, um, it's life. I also recommend every woman take some time out of her week, out of her month. Definitely monthly, weekly is great. I would love if every woman weekly took care of her vagina, but if that's asking too much, monthly at least. Take some time out to pamper your pussy. Pamper your girl. She needs love too. You know, you go and get your nails done and your hair done and a wax, but like maybe Yanni Steam. Maybe add a bath with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and rose water and give her some time. Give her some love too. It doesn't just make her feel good, but it makes you feel good. It makes you feel fresh. I love Tiani Steam. It's one of my favorite pussy pampering things. I will um, upload another video on how and why I do that. So stay tuned. I also recommend spending time with her, you know, a little masturbation. I know people are like, don't talk about that or don't say that or we don't do that, but no, we do. Almost every mammal, I think, masturbates. Like, we should know how to play our own instrument if we're gonna expect to be any good when we are in a band. You know, we should know ourselves, we should love ourselves, we should take that one-on-one -on -one time with ourselves and see how we work so we can show other people how to please us. Um, give ourselves love. I think that's important. It's not sick. It's not sinful. Um, there is an overdoing it, so watch out for that. But it's not a bad thing. Get to know yourself. I personally also love these detox pearls. You know, a detox is great every once in a while. They're called Yanni Pearls. I've heard mixed reviews on them, so I'm not going to go too in-depth about them. If you're interested or have anything kind of funky going on and you, you think a little detox would help, I love these. Detox pearls, Yanni pearls. Um, look into them. And lastly, I want to talk about going and seeing your doctor. If you have something going on down there, ask for help. It is so much better to... Ask for help and get it cleared up than walking around like, I don't know what's going on with me. I don't feel hot. I don't feel sexy. That's no fun, and I don't wish that on anybody. So, I recommend that you find a gynecologist, have a great relationship with them, one that you think you'll go back to every year, every six months, when you, you feel comfortable with talking to, and build a relationship with them. That's important. Just like having a relationship with your vagina, your girl needs a best friend too, not just you. She needs somebody to talk, of, talk to when you and her are on best terms. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, don't be afraid to ask your doctor, I need help or um, whatever. It's important to keep your girl happy. It's important in relationship to keeping you happy. I think it is empowering when you feel fresh and scrumptious. I think that it is such a wonderful feeling and I want to share it with other women. I think it's important to take care of your vagina. And I think that feeling sexy and empowered and loving yourself as a woman starts with taking care of yourself and loving your woman parts. Anyways, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, subscribe, follow. I have lots more videos to come, and I love you guys. Lots of love, lots of light.